Good morning, Christy Pushki here with Grocerygeek.com and this morning I'm going to teach you a quick little trick for making individual smoothies with a regular blender. Alright, I used to make my smoothies in this big old pitcher that comes with your blender and the problem was I would always have to stop it and keep scraping down the sides and plunging everything down into the blade. So a friend of mine a few years ago taught me that with a cheap blender like this, just an Oster brand blender is what I have, and everyone I know who has done this happens to have used a cheap $25 Oster blender just from any old department store, and you can unscrew this bottom section, and instead of using the glass canister that comes with, or plastic, that comes with your blender, we're going to actually use a narrow mouth glass pint size canning jar. Just like you would use to can your foods that come in Ball or Mason brands are two common ones. You want to kind of inspect your jar, run your hands along the top, make sure there's no nicks, make sure your jar isn't cracked anywhere, and we're going to actually screw the blade onto the jar. Now most of these blenders will have like a rubber seal in here. Um, I used to use that, but then it would often get tangled up in the blade when using this method, so I just don't even use that. I've never found it to be necessary. The benefit to doing this, well let me show you. We're going to screw this right on here. So there's the blade, and then this outer part. And we're going to actually fill our ingredients in the jar, and then we're going to screw this on there. And the jar is going to go right on here, and we'll use the blender as usual. So, the advantage is all of your ingredients are very close to the blade, so it's going to have enough pressure to blend everything up without having to stop it and plunge everything down. And when you're done, you can just use this as your drinking container so there's no pitcher to wash. If people in your family like different kinds of smoothies also, you can just line up these jars, have them fill their ingredients, and blend them one at a time on the blade. So, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you so you can see that it really does work and I need to go to the store so I don't have a lot of smoothie ingredients on hand so I'm just gonna make do with what we have I have a couple organic Valencia oranges here if you can ever get your hands on Valencia oranges those are the juicing oranges they're super juicy so I'm gonna juice gonna juice two of those and you want to have a lot of liquid in your smoothie when you're using these jars. So, if this isn't quite enough, I'll just make up the rest with water, you'll see. Alright, so I've got juice from two oranges. I'm going to put about a cup of mixed berries. I prefer organic, but I couldn't get to the store that carries organic, so this is all I have for now. This is raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I'm going to put about a cup. You really don't need to measure anything. I'm just measuring in case any of you want to duplicate this recipe, you can. So a cup of frozen berries. Two oranges worth of juice, which is coming out to about three-fourths of a cup. So it could vary depending on how juicy your oranges are or how big they are. Alright, that's what we've got so far. And then I'm going to throw in a small handful of pineapple. This is fresh pineapple, but you could also have it frozen. I often chop up fresh pineapples from the store and then freeze them in a Ziploc bag so that they're always handy and ready to go for smoothies. So, that's all I'm going to put in here. You could also add like a teaspoon of raw honey or a sweetener of your choice. This is plenty sweet for me, so just going to fill it up the rest of the way. You want to have your liquid reach pretty much to the neck of the jar here. And then comes the fun part. Alright, so take the blade, press it on. It doesn't really matter if it's centered on there because when you screw this on it'll make everything wind up. Alright, there we go. Doesn't that look tasty? <laughs> it will in a minute. Alright, stick it on there and just blend as usual. And it's done. Quick, 
individual to taste smoothies. Mm. Definitely don't need the honey. And all we have to clean up is this and throw the glass in the dishwasher, which you would have had dirtied anyways. Hope you enjoyed this tip. For more great smoothie recipes, check out GroceryGeek.com, where you can also get your hands on my additive-free cookbook and grocery shopping guide, which also has a ton of smoothie recipes in it. I was standing here drinking my smoothie, and I remembered that I forgot to tell you another great thing about these jars is that they're portable. So you can just use the canning lids that come with the jars and screw that on top. It seals up really tight. You can throw it in your cooler for work or for on the go. It can roll all over in there, fall over, and it won't spill. Or if you want something that you can wash in the dishwasher, you can buy these plastic lids that also fit the jars. You can't use them for canning, but you can use them for um, capping your smoothies. They don't seal as well, so you don't want to have it in a place where it's going to be tipped around and rolled around and upside down because the smoothie will leak out. But it's great for in the car or for grabbing to take with you to work or whatever.